can see it, but it's right here. Golf Channel AM Tour. Why am I talking about that? Why are these trophies sitting on the desk? You are in for a treat. Today's guest, I've known for more than a quarter of a century, and I'm honoring him today from the Golf Channel Amateur Tour to my hat, to all my trophies, you are going to meet the director for the Tampa Bay Sarasota Tour, Gary Adamak. Good afternoon, golf fans. B-Man, that's right, B-Man. Golf TTI. Get ready and hold your butts. I'm going to introduce you to someone I have known and been the pleasure of having a, as a friend for the past quarter of a century at least. I want to introduce you into the director of the Golf Channel Amateur Tour. I had a 10, 11 year stint with this young man, Gary Adamak. Gary, good afternoon. How are you, my friend? I'm doing great, B-Man, and uh, thank you so much for having me today. Great privilege to be with you. We have, we do go back a very long way, don't we, and uh, had a good run on the tour there. I think you took home quite a few trophies, if I, as I recall. Ah, <laughs> I'm a bad man. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I did. I had fun doing it too. I, I really did. You made it so easy, so accessible to, to be part of that. And it's still going strong today, and people can still join, sign up. Uh, Sarasota Tampa Tour, and you got your hands all over that. So I hope they do when they see this. Well, and it's, it's been kind of an interesting ride for us recently, and I'm glad we're talking about it right now. Um, uh, Golf Channel actually, uh, because of the COVID situation and because we are the largest national tour in the country with almost 7,000 members around the country, has decided not to um, conduct the 2020 season. Uh, we, we stopped operating in March, March 15th, um, but they are planning on picking back up for our new season, which will begin probably in October of uh, this year and then run through uh, September of 2021. That'll be our 21. We could do wraparound seasons. Uh, so that'll be our season there. But in the meantime, uh, people can contact me. I am operating a tour uh, and I will continue to run events just like we would with Golf Channel. And we will do that uh, for 12 events beginning the 23rd of May at Innisbrook Resort on the Island Course. And we're going to run that right through the mid-August with our two-day tour championship, which will take place at the Reunion Resort uh, August 15th through the 16th. Oh, wow. Do you Is that posted up there anywhere, or do they have to go to your Facebook? How do they get there? Facebook. Uh, they can also reach me at uh, G Adamek Golf, and that's A-D-A-M-E-K. G Adamek Golf at gmail.com, uh, and I, I'll be able to ha help them there as well. There we go. Uh, yeah. now, just like all the other guests that I've had, and you're coming in right behind uh, Reggie Roundtree and uh, Judge Jimmy Pierce. <laughs> so you're going to be the next show after them, so this is going to be quite a treat, back to back information, because I know Reggie's tried a couple of times, um, and I keep telling them, Reggie. You can't be B-Man. You can't. You're not going to win like I won. Just try to go get one trophy. That little man is something else. And Reggie's been back out with us just recently. Uh, played a couple events. And then actually, uh, it was funny. We were running an uh, event over at Champions Gate. Uh, and uh, ran into Reggie. Just happened to be there. And he goes, oh, my goodness. I didn't look at the schedule. I sh can I still get in? I'm like, 
sorry, Reg, it's sold out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he was not happy about that at all. <laughs> well, that's the way it goes. Anyhow, what I'm interested in, how how old was Gary Adamant when he first started playing golf? Oh, wow. I, was, I can tell you exactly. I was uh, 13 years old when I started to play. Um, never thought anything of golf until we went to visit some uh, neighbors who had just recently transferred from the Pittsburgh area where we grew up to Jacksonville, Florida. And it was actually the very first year that Disney World was open in Orlando. In fact, Space Mountain wasn't even open yet. And uh, we went there, and as one of the, our nighttime activities, uh, my dad and his uh, buddies said, hey, let's go to the driving range. And my brothers and I were like, oh, geez, you know, we were all into baseball and other things. And, man, we went to that driving range that night and somewhere in Jacksonville, Florida, on vacation, and we got hooked uh, and haven't uh, put down a club since. I always wanted to be a good player and never really got to be one, but... Sure do love the game, that's for sure. Oh, my, in my eyes, you were pretty good. I've seen you spank that ball out there. Well, thanks, Rich. <laughs> I scraped it around a stream song yesterday. I, I somehow managed an 85 uh, on, at the black course yesterday, but it hasn't been that good lately. But it's it's uh, just a great game that you can play your whole life, and uh, it's, it's a special game for sure. Oh, wow. So what has golf meant to you all these years? I know you're running the tour – You've had your personal experience. What has all that meant to you all this time? You know, that's a that's a really good question. I just, um, I mean, I don't even you can see behind me there. I got my master's uh, picture up there that shows uh, <laughs> yeah. Jack, Arnie, and Tiger up there. But yes. uh, you know, I mean, it, to me, it's it's just a very um, it's a big part of my life. It's a, it's very fulfilling. Um, it's it also has helped to connect with so many great individuals like i got to meet you through golf and we like you said we've been friends known each other for 25 years almost now and uh i find that those same kind of relationships are able to be built and uh, between players who connect with the game and then you have that common interest which then helps you also understand uh, individuals and what they're, how they are, and what they're all about besides golf, which you may have never had those conversations or started those friendships without that connection. And I really believe that's what the part, the part of the game that I love is the connecting to the people uh, that are associated with it and getting to know them and uh, have them become a part of your life at some point. It's, it's a great, it's a great, uh, great situation to be in. That's for sure. I, I've been so blessed uh, over all these years running these tournaments to meet so many fine people and uh i couldn't ask for a better experience i'm i'm telling you you run into any of them guys you can give them my phone number i'd love to interview a handful of them for sure um especially i can't remember his name uh you thought you might have lost him a little while back a little short stubby guy but always plays uh, joe lallier just <laughs> not <laughs> I actually, I think you're talking about Robbie Burkhart. Actually. Yeah, I'm talking about Burkhart. Yeah, Joseph Lawyer. Oh, you make me laugh with that one. <laughs> that is funny. I don't well, mean, uh, okay, well, he's uh, he's um, he's still fighting some stuff, but he's he's still with us and he's doing all right. And uh, uh, he's trying to get back out there, still playing. And that's the beautiful thing about the golf am tour um, is how we are developed and, and really set up to attract players of all skill levels and all age levels and still be a uh, compete uh, fairly and um, equitably across the board no matter what your skill level because we divide you by handicap indexes and you play straight up just against the people in your field um, we also offer uh, senior flights as you know uh, our single day events our senior and open flight players play from the same tees but my staff and I work really hard at making sure the golf course is set up in such a way that it's still about golfing your ball and not how far you're hitting it. Correct. And, and so that uh, really does uh, create an atmosphere of um, really good competition amongst all different uh, players of uh, different ages and skill levels. And in addition to that, uh, we it offers fantastic camaraderie because at all of our, our events, be as you know, um, we, we always 
always include a, a, a meal, no matter whether it's a big blown up buffet or whether it's just a hot dog and a beer, whatever it might be. We offer that at each event, and that really helps you as a member get to know other people, just like what I mentioned, meeting people with a connection of golf and then um, hopefully creating uh, friendships that you may never have been able to create without the, without that connection. This is true, and, and, and that goes to a long way when you say that. Um, cause I can look at the list in a tournament and, and I, I could pick out at least 10 people that I knew I used to play with. And I'm like, D- wow, it's 20 years later. And this dude is still playing. I wonder if he's ever won an event. That's, that's what I want to know. <laughs> you know, it's so much fun too, for those guys that have been with us. And we have so many of those types of players that have been with us for many, many years. And, uh, when you do have one of those guys who sticks with you a long time and it finally does break through and get in the winner's circle, it's it's a great experience to be able to, you know, to stand up there with that person and hand them that trophy and those gift cards and, and make a big deal about the fact that they'd been with us for a while and this was their first tour victory ever. And, you know, it doesn't matter whether you're a 30 handicap or a scratch handicap, getting that trophy and getting that recognition and knowing that you beat guys of your skill level in co- and straight up competition yes in a, it means a lot yes and, it does. Uh, if, and that's what the great thing about golf too is you can be competitive uh your whole life you know you really can and that's you can play this game you don't have to still run fast or jump high or hit hard you just have to be able to make sure you can get out there and swing that club and uh, and if you can get that ball going where you want it, some of the times you got a chance. You got a chance. Um, yeah, man. If you, if you, with your infamous wisdom, had to give a golfer a tip, what tip would the brightness of Gary Adamack give a golfer? What would be your tip? I got to go find some brightness first. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> I think my tip really would be. No matter how how good or how poorly you're playing that day, enjoy the damn day. Enjoy what you got. Enjoy the fact that you live somewhere where you can go and play golf whenever you want at your leisure, and then you have the ability to compete uh, if you choose to. And no matter how good or how bad it's going, remember, it's not what you do for a living. Uh, It's what you do for recreation to have fun and the competitive. The competition is just part of it. Just relax and enjoy yourself out there. And it's amazing when that happens, how much better you play. And, you know, you do, you know, to me, what motivated me when I was out there is the fact that you guys are not playing cow pastures and goat herding courses. You're playing sp- specific courses that even Monday qualifiers for the PGA Tour are taking place on. These venues are huge. The Disney Complex Innisbrook, uh, 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 Lake Jovita, you have places that are really unique. Yeah, and, and places that some people not, don't even really might, that may not even know about. Like, for example, one of the special hidden jewels that I love, I think it's a phenomenal golf cart, of course, is called Juliet Falls. Uh, if you've never had a chance to go there, you should certainly do it. Um, all the places we go to, like Country Club of Ocala, East Lake Woodlands, Innisbrook, like you said, Lakewood Ranch. I mean, how many people get the chance to go play Lakewood Ranch? Country yeah. Club, one of the private facilities in the area. Um, the, we play at the Villages in the Palmer. That's a private cor- course there. Uh, Southern Hills Plantation. So it goes on and on. And that doesn't even count when the Golf Channel is operating at, at full strength. When we're going to, to uh, our, do our two-day major events at places like Doral, Sea Island, um, Kiowa, Sandestin. And then um, also going in Pinehurst even. I mean, we do Pinehurst. So, uh, and then this year our national championships were supposed to be at the Sun River Resort in Bend, Oregon, which is phenomenal. Wow, yeah, yeah. But uh, these are the things that, um, that we offer for the player. And the beauty of it is you can play as much as you want or as little as you want, whatever your budget can afford you or whatever your time can afford you. And uh, we'll still make it make hopefully make you feel like you're there every week regardless whether you're there or not well i'm telling you people you're hearing it from the horse's mouth as they say this is mr gary adamack he runs the uh golf channel amateur tour locally here in florida if you think you can play 
If you think you are a Tiger Woodish player, you need to get in touch with the Golf Channel Amateur Tour. I'm sure they would love to have you, uh, and you really get to test your skills in your game. And you have people, not just like Gary, but, you know, the ones we missed that aren't here anymore. Um, he passed away, and I was so sad when I saw that. Um, Marty passed. Marty passed. Oh, my word. That that just took me. It really yeah, Marty did. And I, yeah, Marty and I started a tour back in 2004. Yes, sir. Um, so we've been at this a little while, and um, it was a big blow to all of us uh, to lose him at such a young age. And, yes. Um, uh, but we, we do have we do now uh, have, memorialize our tour championship as the Marty Leahy uh, Tour Championship, and uh, we've been able to do some fun things to help raise money uh, for his uh, his trust fund that we established to help uh, with his uh, three young children that he left yes, behind. Yes, he was a good guy, and uh, B man, as you know, Marty had that amazing ability to make you feel like. Uh, you were the only person in the room, and you guys have been best buddies for a million years. Yes, uh, when yes. I've known you for 20 years, and he made you feel the same way. So he was a great guy. He's definitely um, deeply missed by so many. Um, and it's, uh, but we're we're trying to do what we can to, to keep his memory alive and, uh, and to help uh, help support his family as well as moving forward. And just remember, you don't have to be Tiger Woods to join that tour. All yeah. you have to do is likes to play golf and remember you're playing just against people of your own skill level so mm -hmm. if you're looking for scratch or a 20 plus uh, we got some place for you to play and uh, it'll be equitable and fair we gotta somehow it, get the golf channel amateur tour to have like a hall of fame for these golfers it's a great idea B you know that's a I have to talk to them about that. See if we can figure that tell out. them I say, B-Man said you got to have, just like the PGA Tour, you got to have 20 wins. <laughs> You're not just going in. Uh, beside yourself, I think there might be one or two more out there like that. That's for sure. There's a few of them out there. But, there we uh, go. Uh, it, it's not easy. It's not easy to win out there. No. And, uh, that's what I think it's one thing I hear more than any other is, Oh man, I play every week and I shoot. Uh, I shoot in the eighties. I can't believe I barely broke a hundred today in my first event. And it's a different game. Uh, tournament golf is different than what you're used to doing with your friends. That's hey, hello, hey, hello, somebody. You you can't yeah. say it better. That's true, Gary. Thank you so much for this afternoon uh, spending time. Um, and again, you'll be on the probably one of the later shows. They're all numbered. You probably somewhere in the mid twenties. This show will pop up depending on when YouTube releases it or whatever. But I thank you for your time. It's been very interesting. I think people are going to get a lot out of what you said today. Thank you, Bernard. And it's always a pleasure to uh, spend time with you anytime I can. I really appreciate you having me on. And everybody out there, enjoy your golf game. Have fun. And if you are interested in getting involved and you can't get on the, G the Golf Channel Am Tour site, you can always email me again at gadamekgolf at gmail.com. A-D-A-M-E-K is how you spell Adamek. Thank ain't, you, B. Ain't no problem. I'm going to put that up, um, and I'll target it, the location, so people can also find it again for you. And uh, it's been fun. It's been great. I loved it. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Have a great day. Take care. Hmm. September 9th and 10th, two-day major, 2006, at the Club Renaissance. You're a major champion, B-Man. Gary Adamak gave me this trophy. Like B-Man will always tell you, put him like he owned him, and rock the baby.